Boradanis, at the start of my career, I was able to complete a medical degree while at university, while still captain in Wales Sevens on the World Seven Series, and I was lucky enough to go to the Rio 2016 Olympics with GB Sevens, where the team won a silver medal. I get asked this question all the time when I go into schools and clubs, and here are my top five tips that help me do it. So I'm using my personal experience and the example of university and elite level sport, but these are all still relevant for work and sport and internship and sport, basically anything that takes up a large amount of your time while also wanting to play elite level sport. And remember, if you want to stay up to date with weekly videos, don't forget to subscribe and any questions about this video, drop them in a comment below. So tip number one is to get yourself a wall planner and a weekly planner. So the wall planner is there to give you a visual of the bigger picture and how everything is mapped out. So I'd have one colour for my rugby commitment, such as the tournaments I needed to go to, and another one for the university commitment, such as deadlines and exams. And then this really helped me plan my training and my studying into chunks. And this is really important when we get to tip number two and three. So the weekly planner is there to help you stay organised throughout the week and you can get really specific with this, such as your running and your gym sessions, exactly what you're going to do, as well as your uni work or meetings. So putting in timeframes for them, when they're going to fit around each other during the week. I had them written out in like a physical planner that I could carry around with me, but these days you can get apps on your phones that will help you stay really organised. So for my training, I'd have to do a run-in and a gym session four times a week, and I found it easiest to get up in early in the morning and get one of them done, whether it was the running or the gym, and then I would do my full day of uni work, and then at around six o'clock, that's when I would try and do whatever I hadn't done, whether it was running and gymming. This was my general framework, but you can also leave room just to have a bit of flexibility if things run over or things get in the way. Tip number two, keep the people who need to know in the know as early as possible. From my experience, people are always very keen to help you achieve your goals and your ambitions as long as they know what you want to do and when you want to do it. So for me, this involved getting my head coach from the rugby as well as the pathway lead into the same room as the sub-dean of the med school and my tutor so they could get on the same page of when I'd have rugby commitments and when I'd have university commitments. And this is where the wall planner really comes into its own. So as you go throughout the year, you'll have key dates, whether it's tournaments or exams, and you probably would have had this big chat at the start of the year where you got everyone on side as you go through and you notice these key deadlines are coming up you can just remind the relevant people who need to know from my experience the worst thing that could happen is that say you're meant to be in a certain tutor group or a lesson and you're not there and the teacher has forgotten because you had the chat so early on in the year and then they're wondering where you are it's very easy with the wall planner just to see when that's happening two weeks before drop them another email or a message and just say just reminding you i'm not going to be for be here for that lesson or that tutor group and this just keeps everybody on side and still willing to help you. Tip number three, have your end goal in mind and then write it down. So there's no hiding from it, trying to play elite level sport while studying or working at the same time is knackering. It's physically, mentally very, very tough. There's gonna to be times where you just start questioning everything. I found it really useful to have my end goal from a university and a rugby point of view written down and I would put it on a piece of paper just above the wall planner. So as you're going through and you're checking those key dates, you can just have a little look up and just remind yourself why you're doing this, what you're working towards. One big thing for me was going to the Olympics, so I wrote that up there and then every time I would check and just have a rescan of the wall planner, it was just that extra little bit of motivation just to remind me while I'm doing the running, why I'm doing the gym, why I'm spending that extra time making sure that work is done. Tip number four is don't be afraid to ask for help. As I mentioned earlier, from my experience, I always found people were quite eager and happy to help when they could, but it can be a little daunting asking for that help from time to time. Over the six years where I did rugby and university at the same time, I obviously put in a lot of hard work and discipline, but I definitely couldn't have done it without the help of my support network, which was my family and friends. Having people to talk to, share how you're feeling or what you're experiencing can be one of the most powerful tools that you tap into. They're there to pick you up when things aren't going as well or you're feeling a bit down, but they'll also be there to celebrate when things eventually pay off and start going well. And finally, my number one tip, which I think holds all of this together, is to make sure you're still having fun. 
And now I mean this in two respects. So the first is enjoying the journey that you're on from a rugby and a studying or work point of view. So the challenges it's presenting to you, the growth that you're able to do, the experiences you're having, make sure you're maximizing them to their full capability. And in the second respect, I mean this in planning some time during the week and during the year to make sure you are relaxing and having fun. So sport and work or studying are very complementary of each other. By spending time on one, you can switch off from the other, but it's also massively important within that week planner, you just set some time aside just to chill out and do something that you have that you think is fun. So whether it's going and seeing friends, getting outdoors, going out, playing a different kind of sport, whatever it is, make sure that you plan that into your weekly routine and that's gonna help you feel mentally and physically refreshed as you go out through the whole year. So there's my five tips. Hopefully one or two of them help you on your journey going forward. I actually didn't carry on with medicine and this is probably my second most asked question when I go into schools or clubs, why I stopped. Um, so if you wanna see a video on that, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any tips that have helped you through work, university or sport, put them down there as well. I'd love to hear them, but have a great day and deal for watching.